So welcome back to another video uh, and in this video as you can tell by the title um, there's been a lot of uh, controversy going on in the last 24 hours or something uh, and I'm going to be talking about uh, the sacking of Pochettino uh, by Tottenham and um, it happened a lot last night or something so it was like is this true is this just like some long like, joke or um, but it's true they've, they've officially sacked um, Pochettino and uh, brought in uh, Mourinho as, as his replacement um, now, his first question is, is this right for Tottenham to sack Pochettino? I don't think it's right because you see where, where, uh, when he took him over and now where they are now, uh, yeah, I know they've had a bad run and I don't think they've, I don't think they've won many games. Like, I remember they drew the last game or something. They've lost quite a few as well. So they're not on a great run of form in the Champions League either. They're not, they're doing all right. They're not doing great. Um, the police second, third in the group, I don't know. Um, but they're, they're doing all right in the Champions League, I guess. Not great in the Premier League, so I'll get that in a way. But this is probably Tottenham's like, greatest ever manager. Like He's probably never won anything. Well, he's never won anything. Um, but you can see where, when he took him over, he was, he was probably on mid-table. Like, they was finishing in sixth, seventh, again, Euro, um, Europa League. Like Occasionally, they would get a, a year in the Champions League, but... It was an often. There was a pretty much a mid table, mid table team, kind of like Everton. Them two were like battling out for the Europa League spots, um, and then and then yeah, like they've been a mid table club. Like the most most time I've been alive, they've been mid table. Haven't really been challenging for anything. Uh, I think th as long as I've been alive, they won one trophy. And that was the uh, Carlin Cup or whatever it's called then. Um, but yeah, Pochettino from where he's taken them to the players he's brought him. Um, yeah, he's been there for four or five years now, and you could say um, he hasn't changed a lot um, from the f from when he first started. He probably, when he first started, he probably had the likes of uh, Vertonghen in there. He had Lloris, uh, Kane was just coming through. Uh, I think they just brought Ali as well pretty recently. Eriksson, um, Danny Rose as well. Um, so that they've, they haven't really changed many of the players, um, and now, now they get a lot older. You could say Harry Kane, Dele Alli are getting into their prime sort of thing. Uh, Lloris is in his 30s. Um, Vertonghen as well, uh, like 32 or something like that. So they are getting old and you need to you need to keep that cycle going. But Pochettino just stayed stuck with the same players, which I'll get that because he's got them where he is now. But um, he just need to keep changing. But then you could say... Um, the Tottenham board haven't him given him enough money at all. To be fair, this season he's brought in uh, two, I think he brought in three players or something. One was 17 million, one was 15, and Lacelso was, what, 20 or something? I have no idea. Um, but you could say he's, it's, it works either way. Like, Pochettino should have rotated the system, got younger players in, um, and got out with the old players, like Vertonghen uh, and Lloris and stuff like that. Uh, but you could say he hasn't had the uh, funded either, so it's look hard to look at it either way. Um, and to, to be honest, when I heard the sack in, when they said um, Tottenham sacked Pochettino, I thought they would have came in like straight for like Nuno or something, uh, or blog like, one of them, like, because uh, they've been linked to him before, um, Nuno with, um, with Tottenham. Um, but then like a couple of hours after, they was linked with Mourinho, and he's the um, full manager now for Tottenham um, is this going to work well I have no idea like only time will tell like I don't really want to say anything in case it comes in back fires like it could be terrible but it could get him back into third place who knows um, but we're going to have to see he's a very defensive manager um, so yes it was only going to tell like a, some boring players stuff like that but he is probably I would say like the, my lifetime I've been alive it's probably been like, one of the greatest managers like he's won pretty much everything uh, Champions League uh, he's done it in pr pretty much every country he's been at um, and yeah he's had some troubles uh, when he was at Man United and stuff like that uh, and like at the end of his Chelsea um, career and stuff like that but he's, he's a great manager and um, we're just going to have to say we know it can be controversial and like some arguments and falling outs between players so um, because Tottenham have always been like a tight squad, um, and they've always been like this. Uh, for I've I've always said this like for Sky Sports and stuff like that, they're all like their fairy tale thing. Like the like, look what Tottenham done, and now like they've they've been like I don't know they've always looked looked after like Tottenham, saying um, 
But now Mourinho's came in, we have to see. Uh, it could be very controversial, uh, controversial, more like. Um, and, yeah, only time will tell. Um, I'm going to have to see he can grind out results, so hopefully he can do that. Uh, and getting back up into the Champions League spots, who knows. Um, I think they're around 11th or something like that now, and I'm not sure who the next game is. Um, but yeah, he hasn't got many. He hasn't got much. Um, couple of days to work with him. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to see what happens. Um, if there's any Tottenham fans watching, uh, let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts. Uh, if you should, have, if they should have sacked uh, Poch, um, and if you're happy with Mourinho signing or not, then let me know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys uh, again for watching. Um, I apologise and been not many uploads basically I've had quite a sore throat it's still quite sore now um, and also it's been an international break and there just hasn't really been too many videos to make about the international break so uh, yeah I apologise for that but there'll be some more videos soon uh, obviously uh, club football is back now so um, yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys again for watching uh, like, and, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video